Pauline and George, married for years, find themselves trapped in a comfortable but passionless routine. She becomes increasingly insecure with the changes in her husband and begins to suspect that he is hiding something. Amid mysterious phone calls and suspicious meetings, she decides to follow him to uncover the truth. What Pauline discovers challenges her expectations and brings a revelation that could transform their marriage forever. Hello, my friends. I am Linda, and this is the Linda's Stories channel. I hope you enjoy this story. Pauline had always been a woman with a kind heart and dedicated to her family. At 45 years old, she found herself in a moment of reflection about life. With the weight of the years and the inevitable changes of time, she began to feel a growing insecurity about her appearance and her role in the relationship. Her body no longer had the same vitality as before, and she noticed the marks of time passing with a mix of resignation and frustration. Her marriage to George, also 45, was stable and comfortable, but had fallen into a predictable routine. They got along well and shared a bond that had been built over years together. However, the passion that once illuminated the beginning of the relationship seemed to have faded, replaced by a routine of commitments and daily tasks. Pauline felt that the flame of passion, which was once vibrant and full of promises, had diminished to a soft, almost imperceptible warmth. Recently, George had become more vain, a reflection of a new promotion he received at work. With the increase in responsibilities and growing visibility in the company, he decided to take better care of himself. George began to exercise regularly and to dress more meticulously, adopting a more modern and careful style. Pauline found this new behaviour a bit strange, mainly because he had abandoned his more casual attire and started investing in more sophisticated clothes and beauty treatments. She wondered if this change was just a reaction to the new professional spotlight or if there was something more behind this additional effort to improve his appearance. What disturbed Pauline the most was George's increasingly mysterious behaviour. In recent months, he had started receiving unexpected and often strange phone calls, which he answered in discreet places such as the office or the car, with a tone of voice she had never heard before. In one particularly unsettling instance, Pauline caught him in a serious conversation with a lawyer she did not know. George seemed nervous and made gestures in a stealthy manner, which intensified Pauline's doubts. More and more, these signs fed her insecurities and led her to question if he was considering divorce. Despite the growing anxiety, Pauline struggled between her need to clarify her suspicions and the desire to preserve the harmony of the marriage, avoiding raising accusations without concrete proof. One evening during a family dinner, Pauline strove to keep the conversation light and fun, actively participating in her son Nicholas's stories, and praising his academic performance. However, she knew she needed to address her concerns but wanted to do so subtly. After an animated discussion about vacation plans, the couple's son left the table and Pauline decided it was the right moment to introduce the topic. She smiled gently and with a casual tone said, George, I was thinking, how long have you been dealing with all these commitments and new responsibilities at work? It seems like you've been putting in a lot of effort to keep everything in check. George, who was cutting a piece of meat, looked up and paused. He seemed a bit tense but tried to keep smiling. Oh, you know how it is, Pauline. New things come up all the time. I'm just adapting and trying to keep everything in order. It's the life of an executive, I suppose. Pauline tried to maintain a relaxed tone, but her eyes searched his, trying to catch a sign of honesty. I understand, but you've been so busy. These phone calls, meetings, and even the conversation with the lawyer have made me a bit worried. I was just wondering if everything is okay. I don't want to be intrusive, but I wonder if there's something I should know. George looked down at his plate and started stirring his food, avoiding eye contact with Pauline. Oh, it's just work. Sometimes we need to deal with legal issues and technical details. There's nothing to worry about. It's all part of the process. The response was quick and nonchalant, but Pauline noticed the way he avoided direct conversation. Her eyes tried to catch some sign of truth in his words, but George seemed to be drawing the curtain on what was really going on. Then Pauline calmly said, I just want to make sure we are okay, George. 
Sometimes work can be so consuming that we forget to take care of each other. I just hope you're balancing things well. George forced a smile and nodded. Of course, everything is great. Just let me know if there's anything you need. And please, don't worry too much, said George. Pauline tried not to show her frustration, but she felt a pang of disappointment when she saw the way George dodged the subject. One day, while Pauline was in the kitchen preparing dinner, she heard George on the phone, his voice muffled and low, as if he was trying to hide the conversation's content. At first, she thought it was just a work call, but the way he leaned forward and the conspiratorial tone raised her suspicions. George was in a corner of the living room, away from curious ears. Pauline, with an almost imperceptible gesture, put everything aside and concentrated on listening more attentively. George's voice was soft and his words were carefully chosen. Yes, I'll be there at seven. No, don't worry, she won't notice anything. It's just to ensure that everything is in order before moving ahead, he said, saying goodbye to the person on the other end. Pauline stopped immediately, heart pounding. She tried to focus on the words George was saying, but the confidential tone and whispers left her uneasy. Unable to ignore the growing sense of betrayal, Pauline decided to act. Pauline pretended she was leaving to visit a neighbour friend. She said goodbye to George with a nervous smile, which he apparently did not notice. After closing the door behind her, Pauline quickly headed for George's car, where, with a racing heart, she opened the trunk and hid among the tools and bags. She settled in the darkness, adjusting herself carefully to avoid making noise. Within a few minutes, the sound of George's engine starting made her breathing even quicker. She heard George talking to himself, a low, murmured conversation that didn't give many details, but the tone of anxiety and anticipation was unmistakable. The car started moving, and Pauline felt a chill down her spine imagining what awaited her. Every turn and every stop in traffic heightened her anxiety. George's destination seemed as mysterious as his behaviour. Finally, the car stopped, and she reclined the back seat, which allowed her a view of a house Pauline didn't recognise. The house was large, with soft lights at the entrance and a well-kept garden. George got out of the car and, instead of going straight to the house, looked around with a nervous expression. After a few minutes that felt like an eternity, Pauline heard George's voice approaching the house's door. He was in an animated conversation with the woman stepping out through the front door. Pauline waited until the sound of the door closing and, with a careful and silent movement, she finally managed to open the trunk. She approached discreetly, using the soft glow of the outdoor lighting as cover. She listened intently to the conversation between George and the young woman. So, you think this is the perfect place for you? asked the unknown woman with an excited smile. Absolutely, replied George with enthusiasm. The house is perfect for what we have planned. Pauline is going to love the surprise. We just need to finalise the details. Pauline felt a mix of relief and perplexity. The conversation was clearly centred on the purchase of the house, something she had wanted for a long time. The young woman, with her professional demeanour, seemed to be the real estate agent, not a lover as Pauline had feared. Not wanting to miss the opportunity to clarify the situation, Pauline decided to reveal herself. George turned abruptly at the sound, and his expression changed from surprise to one of concern as he saw Pauline approaching. The young woman at his side blinked at Pauline with a look of curiosity and confusion. Pauline, what are you doing here? George asked, his voice tinged with nervousness. Sorry, George, Pauline began, her voice trembling slightly. I followed you here because I was feeling unsure about our marriage. You've been acting strangely lately and I... I couldn't understand what was happening. I saw you talking to a lawyer and receiving mysterious phone calls. All of this left me so confused and worried that I thought you might be hiding something serious. George, upon hearing Pauline's words, did not show frustration or anger. Instead, his face lit up with an affectionate smile. He approached Pauline and wrapped her in a warm embrace, holding her firmly and conveying a sense of comfort and understanding. As the two hugged, the real estate agent, perceiving the delicate situation, decided to withdraw discreetly. She stepped away to give the couple the necessary space to resolve their personal issues. 
George looked into Pauline's eyes, his smile now filled with tenderness and sincerity. He took a deep breath before speaking, his words laden with emotion. Pauline, I am very sorry for making you worried. The truth is that despite all these years together, my love for you has only grown. I know that things between us haven't been perfect lately, but you continue to be the most important person in my life. I still remember the sparkle in your eyes when you talked about the dream of having a house for our family, a place where we could create new memories together. George paused, hugging her a bit tighter. What you saw today, it's a surprise. I bought this house, Pauline, for us, so that we can have a fresh start, a home that can be a reflection of the love and life we have built together. I wanted it to be a surprise, something special for you. I'm sorry if I caused you any distress with my behaviour. My only wish is to see you happy and to build a wonderful future by your side. Certainly the purchase of the house was a surprise, maybe not as George had planned, but the two of them were able to have a moment to reaffirm their love for each other. A few months later, in the garden of their new home, the couple celebrated a vow renewal ceremony, surrounded by friends and family. The ceremony was more than just a celebration. It was a reaffirmation of a love that had withstood time and insecurities. Through the challenges and doubts, George and Pauline discovered that true love never disappears. It may just seem dormant at times. But just like a flame that needs to be rekindled, there are always opportunities to reignite the passion and strengthen the bond. The celebration was a reminder that despite adversities, true love always finds a way to shine again. If you enjoyed, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment with a number from 1 to 5 to let us know how much you liked the story. Also, watch the video that is currently on your screen. See you soon.